Professor. Got you, got you. Okay, all time. Thank you very much, Rahim Rashidi from Kurdistan TV. What is the best way for Trump administration to stop Iranian influence in the Middle East? And what is your opinion about the Peshmerga role in fight against ISIS and terrorism? Thank you. So, we, we chatted briefly outside uh, before. I mean, I give the Peshmerga credit for showing up, which is not a universal condition amongst all the armies in the region. Right? <laughs> so, they show up and they fight. They're a reliable ally. And I, I do think uh, the Kurds in the region are a good, reliable friend in the United States. There's a powerful commonality of interest. With regard to the Iranians, um, I actually wrote about this a couple weeks ago in The Hill. Um, you know, the president-elect never said he'd rip up the agreement. He never did. He condemned it, he said he'd renegotiate it, but he never said he would rip it up. And frankly, I think that's okay. All right? I, I, I think the way to, you know, we're, we're going to alienate a bunch of friends and it's going to be a diplomatic nightmare. Uh, frankly, I think the best way of dealing with the Iranians is not to go try to renegotiate the close-in nuclear agreement. I would start lining people up for what happens in 10 years when the requirements in this one start to age off. But in terms of my most immediate, powerful focus, it would be on everything else the Iranians are doing in the region. What they're doing in Syria, what they're doing in Iraq, what they're doing with Hezbollah, what they're doing in Lebanon, what they're doing in Yemen, what they're doing in the Gulf. And I would push back and push back hard. I'm sounding a little bit like the new Secretary of Defense here. <laughs> and, 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 and I really would. We have, it is my view, it is my view, that we have held our response to a whole bunch of egregious Iranian activity in the past year. We have held our response hostage to the preservation of the near-term nuclear deal. And I, I, I just simply say, no, 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 that's not how that has to work. And I would push back. The fear is, if you, if you did that, if you pushed back, they'd walk from the deal. And my response is, that's their decision. And not an easy one on their part. So the answer to your question is, push back in, in, in the other parts.